October the 3rd, 2021. Guys, a quick update on La Palma. They're starting to get visible gravity waves emitting from this island because the pressure is becoming that strong. Starting on the 28th, it is still continuing now. But this is day 15. You're seeing multiple vents here. There's one that's below this image on the other side, but uh, there's a very large one behind the one that appears to be in front that's emitting the white smoke. But then there's a, a black smoke column behind that. You can see some of the uh, flames and the lava shooting up. As we go into uh, closer into tonight, what I'm doing is starting this afternoon, and I'm going to move it up to the present time of about th just a little after 3 p.m., uh, central time today but as it starts to get dark you can see the rear cone more and we'll see that right there guys now check this out as we're getting into full darkness look at the explosions back there again visible shock waves from the ground and from space and uh, guys one of the uh, links that i put up when this first started was from bushcraft bear he lives on the island of La palma and uh, so you're getting first-hand information but if you go back a couple of days ago, you'll see one to where he's showing these big rings above him, above the volcano. And they were very peculiar looking, and no one had mentioned gravita visible gravitational waves. And now uh, the uh, Volcanic Institute, in not only La Palma, but in Spain, are talking about these gravity waves and the MODIS satellite. The Ter MODIS Terra satellite is picking these up from satellite. You can see them. And we're going to look at um, a couple of images from Bushcraft Bear's video. There's a Twitter feed that's out showing these from the ground. Then we'll take a look at the MODIS satellite. But look at these explosions. And these lava bombs are saying as big as cars, and they can go out two miles. But that center one, and this is what I'm saying, it looks like that has almost collapsed now into the front vent. Remember, there were two very distinct ones, but it looks like to me, just looking at that, this is going to turn into one big caldera here at the top. Look at that. Pressure's building. Now, this was from Bushcraft Bear's video. He don't want you to. He does not want you to play of any of his videos. So I'm just a couple kind of still shots here of that video. I will link to it. Uh, very good information there. But look at these rings, and they were peculiar. I saw him right after he launched the video. I watched it, and I check out his channel a couple of times a day because again he's there. Now the, the coast is to the so right here, and I was thinking that he's filming this. I said that is peculiar, and some of them are even almost like spirals but as they the satellite is catching them they're kind of drifting down the they're drifting south and along the african coast but check that out that's some amazing images and, and again i didn't know what it was i you know i didn't know if it was just the uh, smoke or, but I, usually you don't see them radiate in every direction because of wind but this is from ram vista it's a meteorological place they're spanish they're talking about gravity waves and they're move as they radiate out from the mountain which is uh, la palma which is north of this picture just slightly up the african coast they're radiating down the coast that's something now this is hd medio twitter account volcano uh la palma this was october 1st 2021 two days ago i think that's when bushcraft bear did his too he was showing us visible shock waves and they say that most of the time they are hardly ever visible unless they're creating clouds but here beginning on, on 2:45 on the 28th of september lava fountains fed a new high temp fast moving flow that descended on top of older flank flows the leading edge of the main flow continued to advance west covered the banana greenhouses burning the plastic igniting fertilizer it causing explosions, uh, 140 more structures were covered by this flow. Now, if you'll notice at the bottom, it says that the dense ash and gas plumes continue to rise from the main vents as high as 5 kilometers. Here, I'm highlighting, the rising plume created gravity waves that looked like ripples moving away from the top of the plume. Late in the day, lava reached the coastal area, descended that 100-meter high sea cliff, guys. You've seen it. And by 2300, it reached the ocean at Playa de los Gures, I guess, guys, excuse me for butchering that name, or Gures. Black and white plumes rose from where the lava contacted the water. Notice the source. 
Institute of, uh, of the volcanoes there in Spain and several other ones. But here again, October 1st, MODIS is picking up these gravity waves. That's the vibration. And that could be a problem. Not that I think that the, the fault that a lot of people talk about, guys, is north of this area on La Palma. It has not, has re nothing really to do with that. But in 1949, they had a, a large eruption and a landslide, and you can see where a lot of that's at. But one good thing ab about uh, the lava going down to the sea, if you'll go to Google um, Earth and look at that island, that whole coast is lined with where the lava has come over these cliffs, and now there are uh, banana pla uh, plantations and greenhouses right along the beaches where on top of these lava fields. It's uh, And I guess that's the perfect fertilizer for bananas because it, they are everywhere on that island. Some have been destroyed, but there's they are all over it. But this is, a, again, thinking as soon as I saw this, I thought back on Bushcraft Bear's video of what he was seeing. But that's what's happening. This vibration could cause some type of landslide. I don't think it's going to involve the crack that was um, really talked about in uh, about 21 years ago. But you had a uh, volcanic eruption there in 79, 71, and then they started looking at it a little closer, and that's when the BBC did their um, video about a possible collapse of half the island and a tsunami. I don't think that's what we're seeing. I think what we might see is maybe a larger explosion and maybe more lava going down and possibly some landslides. We're just going to have to watch. It's kind of a new ball game with the technology that we have now. And this island hadn't done this since 1971. And satellites like Terramotus were not in the air at that time. But I just wanted to point that out, guys. It's something to pay attention to. And we'll, uh, if you can get any information about these gravity waves that are being produced from La Palma, Put it in the comments. Uh, it would be very helpful for a lot of people. But I think we need to pay attention to it just because of the danger for the people on the island. I don't think it's going to be a major problem if it's something happens, unless you're on one of the very close uh, uh, islands like Tenerife or something like that. But, guys, we're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.